So, you want to be a cosplayer. Hey guys, so just before we begin the video, I just wanted to say a quick disclaimer. Everything I'm about to talk about and everything I'm about to say are based entirely off of my own opinions, my own experiences with the cosplay hobby and community. So take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, my name is Noah, and I also go by Freakish Workshop, and it is really good to meet you. Welcome to the cosplay community. Uh, episode 1 is, is simply breaking down the question, what is cosplay? It's a very, very large term, and it means so much to so many people. Its bare bones definition comes from two words, costume and play, and yes, that is as simple and as broad as the term cosplay kind of gets. What gets a little bit more confusing is the expressions and what I call genres of those expressions of the hobby that is costume play. So the three genres that I was mentioning are professional actors, amateur actors and costumers again these are my own labels based off of my experiences and my opinions i think they fit really really well someone else might disagree and that's fine too i'm just trying to help kind of uh, dumb down things so it's easier to understand so the first genre is the professional actors these are people who actually work uh, as actors either stage or film or reenactment like historic sites who then take that costumed play uh, into their non-professional lives and continue it. So the second one is amateur actors. Now these can really blend together, the first and second ones. Amateur actors are not professional actors, they are not paid uh, to act like certain characters. However, part of their expression and their love of that character that they are dressing up as and that kind of spills out into acting. You can see these most common in, say, characters from Marvel Comics uh, or certain animes. People will act the way that character acts in a show, movie, uh, or even sometimes a play in a convention or a non-professional setting. That's the idea of an amateur actor. All right, and then number three, and these probably consist of the most cosplayers, this last genre, which is costumers. They are people who simply make, buy, uh, amalgamate, create costumes, but they don't necessarily see the, the acting like the character as a requirement to appreciating that character. Obviously, all three really blend together, and that's the hard part of putting labels on genres. And that's kind of what this series is trying to do. It's trying to help you, a beginner cosplayer, or someone who's just interested in cosplay, to kind of understand the sphere, the community that is the cosplay hobby a little bit better by putting some very, very broad and very, very loose labels on things. There's really no set boundaries. A lot of people shift in and out. One cosplayer might be all three, or one cosplayer might be simply one, just a costumer or an amateur uh, actor. In other words, all three genres make up one amazing creative whole, and that is the, that is the, the main part about cosplay, is being creative and expressing that creativity in costume play. And I hope this video makes the very large and sometimes very scary looking cosplay community and world look a little less scary and a little bit easier to step into. So, as always, it's been great meeting you. Welcome to the cosplay community. I'll see you next time. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more cosplay content.